Hey, how's it going? It's Neil Parvet here. Welcome to video number nine of getting started with the ER301 sound computer. I think in most of the other videos I've gone through so far, we've mainly worked on one of the first processing tracks and done all our functions within. So it could be a synth, it could be effects, whatever. But uh, by default, you, there's four independent mono tracks. I don't know what the official word is. I'll have to ask Brian or you could have a stereo and two monos or two stereos, whatever. But for the most part, these videos have been focusing uh, or have been focused on using one of these. And of course, you can have completely independent things all happening at the same time. Uh, my idea for this video is to show how you could sort of use these all together for a, a, like a unified purpose, I guess that would be the way to word it. And let's try that. Um, I pre-wired a few CV controls and a few audio patches and I'll explain what I did and just to save some time and some ruckus of patching. Um, if you can remember yesterday, I made that uh, custom unit that had that uh, arpeggio synth in it. So I'm just going to open that up right now. On uh, I'm going to use uh, this track number two. I'm going to go insert custom unit. <laughs> A large chest okay <laughs> um, I'm gonna load preset and if you can remember from the, the previous video I named it synthy and all the wiring from that is still exactly the same as yesterday or video number seven because I don't know when you're watching this and let's just take a look oh wait no uh, my patching is not the same as yesterday so let me just reassign these so my volt per octave is, uh, let me just play a chord on my uh, Sputnik. Hold on a second. We can see everything firing now. Uh, let's see, I think, oh, there we go. So C2 is our volt per octave. Our gate is, I believe, B3. So I'll just reassign that. And I'm not gonna worry about these other um, custom controls right now. It doesn't matter for this for this demo. So what I want to show you is, right now I'm on out number two. So technically I'd have to have this output number two going to my external mixer. But there's a different way to approach this. I'm going to dedicate this first track as sort of like my console for this setup. So I'm going to insert a mixer channel and up the gain and go into this and my source is going to be output number two. So there we go. So instantly, our, our synth on number two is being internally digitally routed into our first track onto this mixer channel, number one. And I'll just rename this mixer channel, hold shift, press zero to clear it. Uh, we'll call this... Uh, I'm going to call it ARP because it's pretty much an arpeggiated sound. Cool. And again, this out one, this, this section, I'm going to treat this as my mixer for this demo. So I'm going to mute that for now. And before I start this video on track number three, I set up a bunch of sample players triggering different drum samples and I've renamed them. Now, there's one called Bum, there's one called Plink, there's one called Knock, and they're all feeding out output number three. And within each of these, I have my sample player. This one, I have a clock delay. Uh, what else do I have? This Plink sound, I have another clock delay. And, oops, what else do I have? I have a knocking sound, and it's just the sample playing back by itself. Uh, so, I can go to my first uh, track again. I'll create a new mixer. Oh man, it looks like I had another one of those brain drains. Um, so what I was about to do, uh, and what I've done now, is I've added a second mixer, and what I'm gonna do is grab the drums that are playing on this track three. And what I need to be able to do that is to grab output three and set that as a source. So I'll go into my mixer, and I'll scroll to the right, and there it is, out three. <laughs> and there's
Here's my drums. Some of my best work I've ever done, actually. I'll rename this. I'll shift zero to clear out our uh, name, and I'll call this uh, drum. And let's mute this for a second. So this is pretty simple. We're basically taking, internally, we're taking these, uh, these two outputs and digitally routing them into this first track, and they're coming back on mixers. Um, within these mixers, you could add additional effects here. You could EQ them, you could add delays, whatever. But in this case, they're just straight up and raw. But what I really wanted to show you today was how you can take one of these signals and integrate and then re or reintegrate um, external Eurorack modules into the signal processing path. So what's a good example of that? Uh, it could be a reverb send. So let's do that. Um, for this, we actually need a spare block, and I'll show you why in a sec. So let's say I wanted to add an external reverb to my ARP sound. So we need to be able to, I'm already using this out, I mean, I could use a malt here and send it to my other reverb module, but I want this just going to my audio output. I don't want to, you know, start double tapping things and whatever. So I'm going to actually use track four. I'm going to set the input to out two, which is my synth. Out 4 is actually going to a ZDSP with reverb, and the return from that reverb is coming back on in 4. So, with that being said, if I add another mixer here, and I set the input of this mixer to in 4, now we have our reverb. And that reverb's not internal to the ER301. That's an external effect somewhere else in my Eurorack system. So that's kind of cool. And then you're then you might be thinking, well, that's great, but that's only the uh, synth. What if I wanted to add my drums and stuff to it as well? Well, that's actually pretty easy. So instead of doing it this way, I could clear that. I could add two mixers here, and I could spend the time renaming them, but I won't. Um, I'll set the input source for this mixer as out number two, which is our arpeggiated synth, and I'll set this mixer to uh, output three, which is our drums. So now, that's our synth reverb send. And this is our drums. And then if we go back to our main sort of console, we can unsolo just our reverb return. You know what, I'll rename that actually, just so it's simple. Shift zero, and I'll just call this uh, Rev. At this point, I can be like, you know what? Maybe the reverb's a little bit murky. So of course, I can add additional effects here. I could be like, you know what? Maybe I'll add an EQ to this reverb and just sort of scoop out the bass. Set our frequency for the, the low. Or I could do whatever I want. I could add a filter here. You know, there's really no limit to what you could do. I could have an ADSR triggering this filter on the reverb return. It's really up to you what you want to do, right? And notice how everything's been running in real time this entire time. I haven't had to stop or, you know, wait for things to, you know, come online or whatever. It's just working. At the output stage of our mixer, I could insert a looper if I wanted to and record what I'm doing. 
but I'm not going to do that now. But just to give you an example, I mean, you could you could then loop and regenerate your your mix as you're working. Anyway, I just thought uh, just an interesting way to look at what you can do with multiple tracks here. And all this so far, if we flip our mode down to our scope and we flip this, this switch to admin, we're at about 42% CPU usage. And if I turn up the speed on this arpeggiator, notice how it's not freaking out the 301. It's still, it's adding a little bit of usage, but not a lot. So there's plenty more you could add to this setup. So let's take this a step further. Um, this might not be practical, but I'm just going to do this to, just to show that you can do this. So I'm going to save our mixer setup here. This chain, I'll call it, um, what can I call this? I'm going to call it banana. Actually, you know what? I'll call it uh, badass. Yeah. Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to clear this. And let's go over what we did yesterday. I'm going to insert another custom unit. Large pizza. <laughs> so I'm going to open that. And let's actually reload what we just did so badass and let's say I love this sound but I just want to only control the reverb so what do we need let's let's go back to what we did before I want one custom CV control and let's go to this reverb we'll go into it Let's add a VCA after this, return. Set the gain to one, and our source will be our local custom control, CV1. So now, if we back out of this whole thing, we have our large pizza mo processing module with our reverb adjustment. And then, if I'm happy with the entire setup of everything within here, if I go Shift and press M1 for Quick Save, I can save the setup of the entire system to one of these slots, and there's 24 of them. So I could say, you know what? I'll save this to slot number 10. Save. And there we go. Our entire system setup is saved to slot number 10. So let's say I was starting up the next day. I'm gonna go to admin. I'm gonna update firmware, I'm gonna reboot. Just so you can see what happens here. Restarting the machine for the first time, it's the next day, whatever. We'll go back to user mode and I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna hit quick save. And there we go. So slot 10, it's showing us that we have one unit on this one. We have a unit here. We have eight units here and two units here. Um, those numbers aren't reflecting all the nested units within. So there's actually probably like 30 things within this whole setup. But I can load it up. It will do its thing. There's our reverb connection. And there we go. We're back up where we were with all these different processes all happening at the same time. <laughs> so there you go. There's an example of just using all these different tracks in different ways flying audio in and out of the 301, reintegrating it back, applying it to different signals independently, 
and having it all show up at one large pizza custom unit at the end of the chain. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this one is a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit more confusing, but uh, the best thing to do is just experiment and uh, have fun with it. Cheers. Bye.